a large model showman's engine, part 59, working on the steam water pump. In this episode, I show how to modify the water inlet and change the position to 90 degrees using an elbow. This is a simple job and quite a short video, but I would like to mention some very important facts in this video that you may find useful. This clip shows the remains of the sealant around the union that are removed from the bottom part of the water chest. First piece of useful information, always clean away the sealant so that particles do not get inside the water chest and jam the valves. This inlet hole for the water into the pump is only 5 sixteenths of an inch in diameter. So there isn't much restriction on the flow of water into the pump, I'm going to use quarter of an inch diameter pipe. The hole in the centre of this original union is a bit small. I need to enlarge this to the same diameter as the internal diameter of a piece of copper pipe, which is 3 sixteenths of an inch. In this clip I've fitted a union nut because I'm going to put this in the lathe and drill out the centre of the fitting. As you can see the union isn't spinning perfectly true screwed into the union nut, but it really doesn't matter, this is only a hole in a fitting. This was a very quick and simple job. You can actually hold fittings by the threads, but then if anything goes wrong the part is utterly destroyed. I prefer to do it as I've just shown. Back onto the workbench and I'm fitting this modified union into the threaded hole using some Loctite 542. The last thing you want in a steam engine installation are steam or water leaks. The copper washer that I fitted isn't really necessary, it just makes the job look better and it's always good to have a belt and braces approach to any job. This is a 90 degree elbow, it's a PM Research 90 degree elbow and I drilled it out, tapping size for 5 sixteenths by 32 threads per inch. What I intend to do with this steam pump is have short pieces of pipe fitted with union cones and union nuts, all pointing in the right direction. That way I can use link pipes from the water supply and steam supply, which will make the job of piping the engine much simpler. You would think that fitting an elbow like this is a really simple job. And it is, except that it took me three attempts to get it in the right position when it was tightened onto the fitting. I need the threaded part of the elbow to face backwards. This clip shows attempt number two, and the elbow still ended up in the wrong place, but I got it right on attempt number three. I was lucky enough to find a shim washer that was just the right size so that the elbow ended up in the right position once it was tightened up. This is not always the case, sometimes you have to use two or three shim washers to get the thickness right so the parts tighten in the right place. I need to make another special adapter union that converts 5 sixteenths by 32 to 3 eighths by 32. The adapter that I make will also have an internal diameter of 3 sixteenths of an inch to match the internal diameter of the quarter inch copper pipe. The final modification I need to make is to the twin water outlets. These two outlets need to be combined using a special fitting that I will make in the next episode. But that's it for now. Stay safe, stay healthy. Thanks for watching and I hope you found it useful. Please take the time to visit my main steam models website and click on the section of the website that says video playlists. And by doing that you can find other videos that you may like to watch. And by using the playlists, you can actually watch the videos back to back.